big deal with exogenous ketones anyway? I'm here to tell you, I've been taking them for about 11 months now and they have been an absolute life changer for me. I'm here to tell you why. Tune in to learn more. Hey guys, welcome back. Kelly Alexa here, fitness fanatic, serial entrepreneur, confidence coach, and most recently, kind of recently, keto convert. That's right, keto convert. Now today, as I mentioned before, I'm doing a review of exogenous ketones. You might have heard of them, you might not have heard of them, but after today's review, you're going to understand a little bit more about why you might want to incorporate them in your life. So tune in to learn more. Hey everybody, Kelly Alexa here. You knew that already, didn't you? And we are talking today, I am so overdue in recording this video. <sighs> and I almost spilled right here on my counter. Um, I have been meaning to do strictly a review of these exogenous ketones that I take uh, because I get asked about them all the time. And so that's what we're gonna talk about today is what are these exogenous ketones? Why did I start taking them? Why do I rave about them? Why do I think you should take them? And what else do I think you should know about them? Um, so yeah, I'm going to, and obviously, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm making myself my afternoon dose of ketones. The funny thing is, let me, let me sidebar. For those of you who are new and watching this, and maybe you're kicking the tires about keto or ketones in general, um, I just went keto June 1st of last year, which is crazy because I say just went keto June 1st of last year. I'm coming up on 11 months of being keto. I've lost 36 inches and 30 pounds off of my body. Um, I'm 53 years old um, and, and I put that out there because, you know, Sometimes we think, you know, after a certain age, it's just impossible to lose weight. And truth be told, I was one of those people who was beginning to think that, yeah, would I ever lose weight? Because even though, you know, here I am, Kelly Alexa fitness fanatic with a YouTube channel focused on, you know, my fitness passion. I founded a fitness company called Fitfluential that I ran for six, seven years. Um, I've always just been into everything about fitness and I aspired to have a really healthy fit body. I could not lose weight for the better part of the past five to seven years. Um, I was always, um, I don't think I realized it because I would not weigh myself, but I was just always, I, I guess I know now because, um, well, gosh, I, I was about to say I was always about 20 to 25 pounds overweight, probably more because considering I've lost 30 pounds and the truth is I, as I've been kind of just starting to get back into working out now, I, I do kind of feel like I was, I was looking at my triceps this morning and I'm like, okay, I'd like to lose a little bit of that. I'd like to lose a little bit of the last bit on my tummy. Um, I'm very happy with where I am, but I probably think maybe I could lose maybe five pounds. Um, but I would absolutely be fine if I didn't lose anything for the rest of my life. I'm just so confident and so happy in my body for the first time in probably most of my adult life. But again, before going keto, and this was at the nudge of my functional medicine doctor, um, Number one, I had never wanted to go keto. I swore I would never go keto. I thought keto was a joke. I thought it was a fad diet. I hated everything about keto. I was skeptical. I, when people would talk about keto, I was like, whatever. So if you're watching this video and you're one of those people, I do encourage you to keep watching, not only to learn about ketones, but then to maybe you know, link to my um, keto playlist and watch some of my other videos because you'd be doing yourself a disservice to not if you've been stuck like me and you're a woman 40 plus, you need to start investigating keto. Trust me. Um, so really for the better part of five to seven years, even though I was working out six to seven days a week, I was in a caloric deficit. Um, I was eating the healthiest organic foods you can imagine, supplementing, doing all the right things on paper. 
I was in what they call weight loss resistance. I now know that there's a term for that. Um, I could not lose weight. A lot of that has to do with insulin. I, I now know that. I didn't know it at the time. Um, but going keto was the life-changing thing for me. <laughs> if I would have known that four or five years ago or three years ago, I golly, I would have gone keto because um, I certainly have interviewed people on my podcast, The Kelly O Show, um, who have been keto. And I was like always more so interviewing them for my audience's sake to, you know, just bring diversifying perspectives on the show. But, you know, after I got off the uh, interview, I would always just be like, well, good for you guys. I'm never doing that. Um, and here, the flavor that I'm doing right now is heart tart. It's one of my favorite flavors. I'll tell you my favorite, my favorite flavors. You can, by the way, to jump to the back of the line, ahead of the line, you can um, order these ketones from me. Any of these keto products that I'm talking about, um, <laughs> I love them so much I bought the company. I'm just kidding. I'm a distributor. So um, we'll talk about that in a second. But ironically, the first time I ever heard about exogenous ketones was about four years ago, way before I ever went keto. And I heard about it from my first doc, my, my last functional medicine doctor, who is more so known as like the paleo doctor. You've, I've interviewed him on my uh, podcast, Dr. Lane Sebring. And, you know, he was telling me about exogenous ketones and how great they were, how amazing, and I should be taking them. And, and exogenous ketones became popular, and, and I'm just going by my own, what I remember him telling me. So I could be wrong what I'm saying. Don't take this as Bible. You know, I, I remember him saying, you know, like all the biohackers were into this. You know, it's like brain food. It's going to give you energy and focus, and it's going to be, it, it can help you lose weight. It's good for digestion. It was basically like, kind of described as this panacea for everything. And, you know, he told me it'd be really good for me to try it. Well, he gave me, I remember I ordered a box or several um, and I signed up to get the discount of the products. So I'm pretty sure that this was maybe like the first year that the company came out with their products because they've only been around for about five years. And they had a flavor, I'm pretty sure that it was like, a coconut, it was supposed to be coconut or something. I could be wrong. Either way, I thought it tasted like absolute shit. I, I just did not like it. I would mix it with coconut milk to try to make it taste better. And I just remember being like, <laughs> and I didn't like it. Um, I didn't feel any special effects from it. I didn't feel, and I think that also just goes to show you, I always say, you know, what you look for, you will find. Well, I had a bad, I probably had a bad attitude. I probably was like, this isn't going to work. I'm not going to get anything out of it. What is this? I don't know why I had that attitude, but I was just so skeptical. I'm like, what is this? And anyway, long story short, I bought a ton of this product. I ended up, when I moved from Austin to San Antonio, I threw away just a ton of boxes of this stuff because I just was like, what am I doing storing all these ketones? Like, whatever. I'm not keto, blah, blah, blah. So fast forward to um, sometime last year, my friend Jenny Lim, God bless her, she has now passed away. She's a figure competitor. You guys can look her up. And if you guys remember my YouTube channel, you can look back. There's some videos of us. Um, she had gotten involved in this it, with this company because Prove It, which is the name of this uh, ketones company had merged with Visalis, which is a company she was involved with. This is a direct sales company. And she's like, oh, you've got to get involved, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, Jenny, I, I'm not keto. So, you know, I'm trying to pick the companies that I endorse and, and get involved with very carefully. So you do you, I'll pick, you know, the other companies that I want to get involved with and whatever. And she's like, but I know the president, he's a really good guy. And I'm like, that's great. But you know, I just, I'm not keto. Why would I get involved with a company that I, the last thing I want to do is endorse keto. Isn't this funny, you guys? Like here I am saying no to this thing. And I had no idea what would happen like two or three months or what, however many months it was down the road. And then fast forward, my 
functional medicine doctor, um, when she told me that I could start dieting again. And if you want to know what I'm talking about when I say start dieting again, you can watch some of my other videos. I, um, in order to heal my body, I had to go into a reverse diet. Before I started dieting again, I was in a reverse diet. I did a whole podcast on this. I'll link down below to it in case you're wondering what a reverse diet is. It's very good for you, especially if you've been like me and you've been dieting for years and years and years and years. So I did a reverse diet for a while. My doctor, uh, my new doctor, Dr. Ruthie Harper in Austin, Texas, who is amazing. If you're interested, I will link to her down below as well. She is taking telemedicine appointments. So if any of you are interested in a really great doctor who can help you with your hormones, she's changed my whole life. She's, I just can't say enough good things about her. Um, I was doing a reverse diet. Then I hired my new doctor. She said, I need you to continue doing the reverse diet. Your body's not quite ready to go on a regular diet. You know, let's keep doing the reverse diet. Let me work a little bit more on your hormones. She did that for six more months. Um, once my hormones were ready, then she said, okay, we're ready to have you diet. I think your body will respond now. And then she gave me my macros and they were keto. And I was like, are you kidding me? I pushed back. I didn't want to do it. She gave me a lot of data to explain why this would be helpful for me, um, why it's so good for women age 40 plus with hormonal imbalance who can't lose weight, blah, 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 blah. I have no shortage of videos that will be linked up in a playlist at the end of this video. Go watch them. I explain a lot of this stuff. Um, everything she said was true because once I went keto, everything in my life changed. Now about, oh, I went keto June 1st, I think June 5th, I called up Jenny Lynn and I said, well, actually, hold on. Here's, here's how the ketones thing came about, because I just want to be honest with you guys. So you guys knew my history. I, I had also heard about it from Jenny Lynn. And then when my doctor had told me that, that she wanted me to go keto, I really didn't want to. So what I started to do was I went on Instagram and I started to just look up hashtags about the keto diet and keto because I just wanted to see if there were people who were fit and healthy. <sighs> because my recollection was, I remember back in the day um, and I always associated keto with Atkins and keto with low carb. And, and I think a lot of people do that. And so I wanted to look up and see if I could find people who were actually fit and healthy, who had lost weight. Because back in the day when people did Atkins, you would see a lot of people who put out cookbooks and books and they're like, oh my God, you know, I'm like this expert on Atkins and they weren't healthy or fit at all. And I was always like, why would I buy your stuff? Like you haven't even lost weight. I never understood that. So I wanted to see if there were people who were doing keto who actually were like getting, getting fit. Um, and what I found was that yes, there were a ton of people of all different kinds of fitness backgrounds, fitness focuses, ages, whatever, but a ton of people had bottles just like this, which is why I copied all of them, of course, and they were drinking ketones. And that's how I, that's, that's how I found, dis, rediscovered, prove it, and these ketones, because then I started to see that they were drinking this and they were, they had these packets and they'd be making these drinks and they had colored packets. And I'm like, wait, whoa. This stuff comes in pack because I think back in the day, maybe it did come in packets, I don't remember. But all I know is there weren't flavors. There were maybe one or two flavors. So I go to the website and I'm like, wait, there's lime and Maui punch and heart tart and blue raspberry and pina colada flavor and, and uh, blueberry acai. And I'm going by memory. I'm thinking of what's in, there's iced tea. And I mean, just flavor after flavor after flavor. And I'm like, wait a minute, they've got coffee too and bone broth. Wait, what? And so I'm like, I'm sold. I called up Jenny Lynn. I said, 
you and I need to talk. Introduce me to Blake. Blake is the president of um, Prove It. And so we did. We got on a call. I did a call with her and Blake. I signed up, bought a huge package. I hadn't even tried the products yet, you guys. I just had this gut feeling. When I have a gut feeling, I go for it. I bought a huge package of product, signed up as a distributor underneath Jenny right away, and um, got my product, started taking it. She told me, you know, the people that do really well take two a day, you know, like one mid-morning and one in the afternoon. I followed her instructions and started doing just that. And I will tell you, here's where my review comes in. So I do remember that when I first started to get, the, when I first ordered the ketones, my thought in my head I, I don't, I remember thinking, okay, if this stuff just tastes good and I'm going to start drinking two things of water and this makes me stop drinking as much diet soda as I'm, as I'm drinking right now, because you guys know I have a problem with diet soda. I really do. Um, if they have these cool flavors and there's some benefit, you know, whatever, because I know it puts you in ketosis or whatever. I was not thinking it would help me lose weight. I was not thinking that I would have any, you know, focus or what. I just, I really didn't think I'd get anything out of it. I don't know. I, I really, it's kind of weird to think that I would spend this much money on this product. But I had just have feeling like I should order it. So I started taking them. And I don't know when I realized it. But probably within a week... The first thing I noticed was how it was helping me with my energy. And the reason that I noticed that is because it was so obvious. Now, the, the reason it was so obvious is this. I had, got, I had gotten to the point where I was beginning to think I was going back to having adrenal fatigue again. And the reason being is that every single day, right around 2 o'clock, I would hit the wall. And by hit the wall, I mean, literally, I would just, it would be like clockwork. I would not have any energy. I would literally have to go, our master bedroom is on the, master suite is on the main floor here. And I would have to go into my bedroom, take my phone with me, set it for half an hour, and I would sit, lie down on the chase lounge. Is it lie down or lay down? Verb, somebody correct me on that one. That's the, gra that's the one grammar thing I always mess up. Um, I would lie down on the couch and the chase lounge and I would take a half an hour nap. And then I, my alarm would go off and I would be like, I need another half an hour. And I would set it for another half an hour. And then I remember I would get so pissed off because I would think, I am taking an hour nap every afternoon and I'm gonna, an hour out of my workday, like this is messed up. The second I started taking ketones, I never took a nap again, swear to God. And there have been, I think, two or three different times, you can ask my assistant this, that I have forgotten to take ketones in probably the past year or so. And on those days, I've been boxing with her. If you guys know what that app is, you know what I'm talking about. I've been boxing with her and there have been like maybe two or three different times where I've totally forgot to take my ketones that day. And it's just so happened that that day I've been chatting with Angie and I've been like, I really feel like I just need a nap today. And then I was, and then I would say to Angie, I'm like, oh my God, I haven't taken any ketones today. Like, isn't that amazing? You know, cause I just say to her, like, this is so incredible that these things work. And, and I always say to her privately, like, Angie, this is just between you and me. Like, I'm telling you. What I say publicly is so true, like it just works. So number one, it gives you incredible energy. Clean energy, not jittery energy, not like pre-workout kind of energy where you're like, ooh, it's not like caffeine where before you're, you know, and, and, and there are two kinds. There's caffeinated ketones and non-caffeinated ketones. So you can order non-caffeinated ketones if you want to have them later in the day. I. I like caffeine, so, um, but it's not a jittery, it's a very clean uh, energy. Second, um, I have had my entire life changed, 
And, and this comes from, if you want to do some Googling, beta-hydroxybutrate. That is the primary ingredient that we're talking about here in exogenous ketones. Um, and by the way, if you're thinking about ketones, when your body, when, you're, when you fast naturally, your body will produce endogenous ketones. That's ketones from within the body, okay? Exogenous ketones are ketones that are outside of your body that you're putting inside your body. So this this is coming from outside the body. It helps your body go into ketosis faster, okay? Within an hour, typically. Most of these are gonna put you into ketosis within an hour. Um, now, I, in the past 11 months, in, being, in, in doing my keto diet, my keto diet lifestyle, I don't measure whether I'm in ketosis. So um, this has been more like, I just take these products and I have noticed what has happened to me. So I'm just letting you know, like to each his own, if you're that keto person or you're thinking about being that keto person and you wanna measure whether you're in ketosis or not, different strokes, different folks. I personally don't, and I'm not saying it's right or wrong that I do or don't and that you do or don't. I'm just letting you know, I never have. I just count my carbs. Um, what I can tell you is that drinking two of these a day every single day, and my husband does as well, and he's not keto. So that is also a second question that I get. Do you have to be keto to benefit from exogenous ketones? Hell no, you don't. Um, will your results be taken up a lot of notches if you are, uh, you know, it, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, running a low carb lifestyle, and then you add this to it? Absolutely, because if you are taking in a lot of high carb uh, insulin response inducing foods, and then you're using ketones to put you in ketosis, they're kind, there's, in my opinion, this is my, my way of explaining it, it's kind of gonna cancel each other out, but the exogenous ketones have curbed my appetite and curbed my cravings in a permanent change way that I never could have anticipated. I, and I will link to another video that I shot about how I used to binge all the time. I used to be obsessed with food. Um, food used to rule my life. Um, I won't go into too much detail because I covered it very transparently in that video. I'm happy to answer any of your questions, but I'm telling you, ever since I started taking these two times a day, and I will see if I can get my husband to do, I, I highly doubt he would ever do a video with me. He's just too much, I just don't, I can't see him ever getting on a video with me, but he might do a podcast with me. But he will tell you that the before person that I used to be was a snackaholic, somebody like, and it's not that I used to, gorge myself and eat an inordinate amount of food. It's just that I was always thinking about food. I was such a chronic dieter that I was always trying to sneak little bites and tastes. And, and, and then, you know, when I would eat too much of this or that, then I would balance it out with 24 hour fast. So I was always, you know, trying to balance the scales. And the bottom line is, even with this bad way of staying in my caloric deficit, I still never lost the weight. And then going keto and never, I, I never track my calories anymore, but I, I now effortlessly lose weight. So as my doctor says, the idea that I was, that I was clinging to back then of what I learned from Jordan Syatt about caloric deficit, which is true for most of the population, when your body's working normally, you have, to, you have to focus on caloric deficit. When you get into hormonal imbalance and insulin resistance, a strict calories in, calories out situation is not going to matter for you. It's not going to work for you. That's when you have to switch over into what my doctor moved me into, which is something that's going to address your insulin problems. And when you understand what causes an insulin response and you understand what you remove from your diet with keto, you realize that you're actually just solving everything insulin related. And that's why your body just goes, whew, 
and it just it just lets the fat go because when I think about all of the carbs and sugary types of fruit foods when I say sugary types of foods I'm just talking about uh, that's going to be a separate video in fact I'm going to write that down so I don't forget what I used to eat because I know people will be like what the heck are you talking about you're probably thinking did she like live on Oreos and donuts no but that's a really great video so just in summary, taking ketones two times a day, I no longer snack. I'm no longer obsessed with food. I no longer binge. I don't, I, I have not binged since I've gone keto, since I've started these ketones. Uh, I don't have to nap when I take ketones. I don't have cravings. I don't find, the, the person that I used to be before taking ketones two times a day, I work from home, obviously. I would be in the refrigerator and in the pantry trying to find something I could eat all the time. All the time. Uh, I was a bingeaholic. I was obsessed with food. I was thinking about food. I do not do that anymore. Half the time, um, I have to like almost, almost convince myself to eat in a way. Um, I eat two meals a day and that's it. Sometimes I snack. Um, I just actually ordered some, uh, one of my favorite, I don't do a lot of packaged foods, um, but I do get these BHU keto cookie doughs occasionally. I, and I just got some, I put it in the refrigerator cause it's all melted. Um, but sometimes I get that, but it's just so easy for me to, to not be controlled by food. It used to be that if I bought something that was sweet or that I really loved, I couldn't control myself. I would eat the whole thing. Um, I don't, I just don't have those problems anymore. So ketones have completely changed my whole life. Everyone I know, every woman, female client that I have coached, that I have done keto coaching for, not only has lost 25 pounds, that's a, that's a heavy plug for my keto coaching. If you're interested in keto coaching for me, comment below email me at kelly at kellyalexa.com or just comment below and ask for more information. Um, so every woman that I've coached has not only lost more than 25 pounds, even women who said, I've tried keto before, it didn't work for me because I've taught them how to do it the right way. But now that they're doing ketones, they've ordered from me and they, they just stuck with it for life because just like me, it's changed their appetite. It, and here's the other thing too that's great. And I have to give my friend Michelle, she's a client of mine. These are also great to mix with alcohol. So vodka, gin, and tequila are hard alcohol with no carbs. You can use these as low carb mixers with that. Bam! So that's um, pretty much my review. And then I would just also say, I absolutely do notice a difference in my focus. Um, that's a little bit more obscure and hard for me to articulate. Just how, how do I notice my focus has improved? I just do. Um, if I don't take my ketones, it's easier for me to just be lazy. Um, and then lastly, I would just throw this in simply because again, if you're interested, if you're watching this video and you're interested in, in ordering some ketones from me, comment below. Um, and then with, either with your email address or just email me and I will put links down below as well. So there'll be more information down below. I'm starting to lose my voice, but I did also want to let you know that there is coffee, really delicious. I went, when I switched over to this um, keto coffee, I went from having three cups of coffee in the morning to just one. This is 130 calories. All you do is add this to a cup of coffee and mix it up freaking delicious and it will fill you up because it's made with healthy fats and then i'm a little embarrassed i bought these bone broth <laughs> packets i had two boxes of these so there's french onion and salted caramel and they just came out with i think two new flavors um i had two boxes of these sitting in my pantry um for like a year and i didn't use them until about a month ago and once i tasted them i was like 
Holy shit, these are so good. 45 calories each, so good for your gut, so good for everything to do with digestion, elimination, um, but also <laughs> made by Prove It, um, high quality. You're gonna get your ketones in there as well. Um, and that's gotten me back into doing my 24 hour fast every week. Fasting, very, very good for insulin resistance. Very, very good for women age 40 plus with hormone problems who can't lose weight. Bada bing. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, if you have any questions on any of this, feel free to comment below, let me know. And again, if you would like to order from me, like I said before, I am a distributor. I'm happy to help you um, tell you what my favorite flavors are. There are so many flavors. And then they come out with seasonal flavors, so you will love that as well. And then lastly, too, I failed to mention, they also have just come out with uh, Prove It Meals. So they have keto meals, and you can order those meals and snacks. Um, so if you're interested in those, you can let me know as well. I, again, hope this was helpful for you. And um, I just encourage you guys to think about taking a step into if you're kicking the tires with keto if you're thinking about making a change remember you are just one change away from an incredibly better tomorrow I made a change a year ago in embracing something I was so skeptical about and my entire life is different now I mean I went from walking into my closet not being able to wear 75% of what was in my closet for the past eight years and now I'm donating most a ton of what's in my closet, getting 50% uh, of my clothes taken in because they're huge on me, having to go buy new clothes. I mean, half the time I put my clothes on now and my husband's like, babe, those are way too big. We need to get you smaller clothes. And I'm like, I have not heard these statements my whole adult life. It is the best feeling in the world, and this is what I wish for you. Lastly, I'm gonna wrap up with saying this. I am launching a five-day online keto boot camp for women. What is this? It launches a week from today. This is gonna be our beta group, and then after that, it will just be uh, live every single week. So if you are interested, what this is, is it's basically an online keto boot camp experience for women only, where I teach you how to go keto the way that I did. So you, you get to avoid all the trial and error, all the guesswork. I teach you everything that I know that helped me lose 36 inches and 30 pounds successfully and obviously keep it off. I'm, I'm coming up on a year. It'll be a year next month. Um, and so, like I mentioned before, every woman I've coached has lost more than 25 pounds. I do encourage you to join me. It's going to be $97 for anybody who joins my beta group. After that, the price will go up to $197. If you're interested in joining our beta group, make sure you comment below because we will be cutting off registration middle of this week. And we do also have a deal if you buy my keto cookbook, which is just $27, you can get the uh, online boot camp for 50% off. So you can get my cookbook for $27, the boot camp for $50. That means you get both for $77. That's ridiculous. But again, I do need you to respond as soon as you see this video. Comment below or email me, kelly at kellyolexa.com, as soon as possible so you can take advantage of that deal. And um, that's it, guys. That's all I got. I will see you guys next time on The Kelly O Show. Thanks for tuning in. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. We've got a playlist for you right here with all of my previous keto videos. If you have any questions, remember, make sure to leave them in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed, give us a like, and please, please, please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions.